All right, then let's get cracking with lighting styles. So what is a lighting style, mate? What is it? How do I make my life better with lighting styles? I need to make my model look good in front of customers and to my to my boss. How do I do this? How do I make... Well, right, if you're at the point where you need to use lighting styles or you want to use lighting styles, then you're probably at the point where you do want to make your model look good. So a good place to start is to go to the view tab and then change your visual style to realistic, which makes it look as realistic as it's ever going to get. Well, not necessarily, but it preps it. It puts it in the most realistic light uh, visual style so that it interacts better with the lighting styles and the, uh, the background, that kind of thing. So set that to realistic. Okay, the lighting styles, you will find them on the appearance panel, and it's this drop down here. These, these lighting styles, right, so the, the deal with them are Autodesk give you around about 20 lighting styles. Uh, and they can be used in models, past or present. You've got lighting styles, which are sort of saved inside the part. Uh, you'll see a lighting style that's sort of cached in the model. You'll see like this little square. It's actually, I, I think it's meant to be a computer. I don't know. I think it is. But that lighting style is inside the assembly. The other lighting styles, they are in the style library. They're in the design data folder. So they're available to be used but when you activate them, it pulls them into the document and saves them into the document. So that lets you open up models from years ago. You could open up a model from Inventor 2006. But if you opened up a model from back then and these lighting styles didn't exist, it lets you then use this lighting style with that old model because they're, they're being pulled from the style library. So they're kind of all there. Autodesk saying, here they are. Use them if you want, mate. If just... Just pick them, the kind of, there you go. If, nah, if you don't like them, just nah, move on to the next one. Pick one that suits your needs. And what I've found is most people tend to tend to stick with them. There's not that much of a need to change them or add new ones. So a good way to find out is just to, just to cycle through them. So they're made up of different types of light. And when I say different types, I mean two, <laughs> two different types of lights in here. So you've got standard lights, and then you've got what's called image-based lighting. Standard lights are one light and two lights, these two lighting styles here. So for example, two lights, it's made up of standard lights. So they are, they are uh, what's the best way to put this? They're kind of uh, cosmetic lights, which you can't see, they don't exist. You can't see the source, but they're there, and they kind of cast a virtual beam of light onto your scene. And the best way to, to sort of acknowledge their existence is to just orbit the model around and you can kind of see the light there. It's reflecting off the, the plastic, you know, the cockpit. And then over on this side, uh, there'll be another one somewhere, somewhere in the scene. Maybe it's down there. I don't know. That's the problem with the lighting styles. Not a problem, but when I was saying in the introduction about how it's not an exact science, that's kind of it in action. You don't, you don't have the foggiest idea where they are. <laughs> They're just there. They're there. You can control how bright they are and what colour they are, but you can't. You can, that's about it, really. So I was saying about set your expect expectations low. Yeah, you can't even choose where the lights are or be precise about it. So they're they're called standard lights. The second type of light is an image-based light. So if you activate the old warehouse, that will set an image as the background, but it's not a flat image. It's what's called an HDR image. It's a, in some cases, it's a spherical image. In some cases, it's a, it's a shaped image. But that image there is the light source. There are no standard lights in this scene. If we look straight at the cockpit, you're not going to see the, the, the ball sort of, you know, the ball of light reflecting in the cockpit because there, there, there is no standard lights in here. The, the scene is lit by the, the image itself. And that's all, that's all pre-configured. You can't change that really. Uh, what Autodesk have done is they've simulated the light source being the windows. So you can sort of see the reflection on the on the cockpit of the windows. Uh, that's where the light's coming from. So that's image-based lighting. And the image-based lighting is probably what I... Yeah, well, probably it is. It's the most realistic way of, of putting your model into a scene with lights and making it look good. And in fact, the old warehouse is one of the best lighting styles to use as well for what we do because it's it's a warehouse. It's almost like a factory in Inventor's Mechanical Design. So most things that we do either start their life in a factory or a warehouse. 
in a, or end up in a factory or a warehouse. So it's a good it's a good scene to use. And if you think to yourself, mate, <laughs> buddy, that looks crap. <laughs> that looks awful. Why, what? what why, why do you think this? Right. Well, that's because the camera is set to orthographic. If you change the camera to perspective, boom, look at that. And then all of a sudden it just like, boom, straight away. It looks amazing. And then you can orbit around and now you can, it, it looks it looks even more realistic. It's still blatantly computer generated. Obviously, you're not going to fool anyone with that, uh, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So that's perspective mode enabled, and you can see the the, the image is almost like a it's it's like a it's like a tube, isn't it? It's like a cardboard tube with an image inside it. Uh, but yeah, these are all very pre-configured, and that's the old warehouse one. So the other ones you can cycle through them. For example, cool light is another image-based lighting. However, with a twist. <laughs> Oh yes, there's a twist. Cool light is image-based lighting, but you can't see the background image. Autodesk have essentially turned off the image, um, so you can see it reflecting in the in the cockpit. So it's sort of like a, it's almost it looks like a window. It looks like one of those sort of uh, prison bar windows, but you can't see the image itself. And cool light set to be a, like a very blue hue, sort of cool light color rather than warm. And then if you want warm, you've got warm light. And that sort of, uh, you can see it's now a more pinkish, orangey kind of pastel reflection on the model. It's a little bit warmer colors, still image-based lighting. It's got the same scene image in the background, but you just can't see the scene image. It's just turned off. Other ones that you can use, as you can see, as I'm clicking them, you can see it's putting the little computer next to them. So as I'm activating each one of these lighting styles, it's then saving them in the document. So then you can change them and, and, and do what you want with them. So the ones we've got, for example, Stuttgart Courtyard. Is uh, it's quite a realistic looking one. So this is um, it's quite a high res background, so it's not very pixelated. It's pretty realistic looking, uh, and it's an outdoor scene. So the light, the the lights cast by the scene are pre-configured to c kind of replicate an outdoor environment. So like the sunlight, uh, whereas the the old warehouse is meant to be an indoor scene. So it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit sort of more. The lights more. Is, can, is matte? Can you use the word matte when you're talking about lights? Probably not. <laughs> but then it's not as sort of um, as ambient and bright as it is in the outdoor scene. And then you've got other ones like uh, Dry Salt Bed, which is another, it's quite a really bright scene. So this one's sort of simulating the blue sky uh, with a, with a sandish, like a sandy, rocky floor. Uh, that's a nice one to use. Not very many uses in manufacturing, though. When are you ever going to model a machine and then just drop it in the middle of the desert? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you give your client a, here's a sales image of your client's uh, engine just on the on the desert in the Sahara. Uh, why is it in the Sahara? Because it looks good, mate. All right, oh, sold. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, and then the other ones are, there's a lot of them which are just sort of very generic, like uh, Photo Booth, for example, which is, uh, it's it's still an image-based lighting, but with the scene turned off, it's got simulated studio lights in the, in the environment, and uh, it's quite bright. So just choose, just cycle through them. There's a number of different lighting styles. You can pick and choose them. Some of them are just absolutely hopeless. You would never use them in, in, in our industry, but they're kind of there, and... Um, yeah, just have a have a little play through the lighting styles. Pick and choose them. Make sure your camera's set to perspective. Make sure your visual style's set to realistic. Have a little toggle through them, and then in the next clip, we'll look at how to edit them.